Welcome to the Lady Yum Yum Show. Today we're doing the first of a couple Thanksgiving recipes. And thanks to Ian, this first one features his short crust pastry recipe. I'm making pumpkin pie. And I kick it up a notch in decoration. Pumpkin pie is actually really easy to make. First, you'll need two crusts for my pumpkin pie. I know that's a little weird. Um, the first one's in the pan, all prepared. And another thing I did, I modified Ian's pastry recipe a little bit. I used gluten-free flour. I was talking to someone about some gluten-free recipes they were experimenting with. And I like the texture of gluten-free because it's very, um, very crumbly. And I thought it would make a good pie crust. You noticed I rolled my pastry dough in between sheets of wax paper. Rini taught me that and it's great. It just makes it a lot easier to move the dough around. I'm not a professional like Ian. So the next thing I'm going to do is use my little leaf cutter to cut little leaves uh, out of this second sheet of pastry dough. I'm going to use these to decorate the sides of the pie and the center of the pie. So I'm just gonna cut a bunch of them. I'm probably cutting more than I need, which is fine. Okay, there's a bunch. And then I also, this is Thanksgiving. I'm taking it up a notch. I cut little veins in my leaves. So I just cut little, little marks on my leaves. Just again, makes them look pretty. So you don't, you know, this is just extra step. You can skip it if you want. Now we'll pull away the dough and this gluten-free dough breaks much easier than regular pie dough. So I'll have to be a little more careful than if you don't use the gluten-free. We have our little leaves. Now I'll apply a little water to be the glue and just press at the base. Grab another leaf and I like to do them alternating like this. I find that by only pushing it at the base, it kind of gives it a more three-dimensional look. It makes it look more like a real leaf. And remember, real leaves aren't perfect, so don't worry if yours aren't perfect. And so the last two, you just want to, you know, make them a little tighter or a little looser just to fill in the final gaps. There you go. Isn't that pretty? So save three leaves. I'll show you what we're going to do with those in a little, in a few minutes. And then we're going to brush all our leaves with an egg wash. Egg wash is just one egg with a couple teaspoons of water mixed together. And that's just gonna make these leaves shiny when, when they cook. There we go. Now with these three extra pieces, we're going to put them on a piece of foil, egg wash them, and near the end of our baking time, we're going to bake them in the oven. And I'll show you what we do with those after they're baked. So I'll just put them on here. And I'm overlapping them, kind of like a little trio, press in the center, and give them also just a little bit of egg wash. Okay, so now we're going to put this in the refrigerator while we get our pie filling done. The first thing we'll need for our filling are two eggs, and I'll just break those up a little bit. And you'll notice I have them in a mixing bowl with a spout. That's important because we're actually going to pour in the final bits of the filling while it's in the oven. That's one of my tricks to keep spillage from happening. So there we go. We got our eggs a little mixed up. Next are our spices. This is the key to good pumpkin pie. It's even more important than the pumpkin, believe it or not. I have a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of ground ginger, a quarter teaspoon of allspice, a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground nutmeg. I'll just grind that real quick, it just takes Barely, yeah, 
I don't know, what's that? Half a minute to grind a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Use the freshest spices you can buy. If you have them left over from last Christmas or last Thanksgiving, unfortunately, it's time to buy new ones. I love nutmeg. It smells so good. So to our spices, we will add three quarters of a cup of sugar. And we'll mix that up just a bit. You don't have to be perfect here. There. Good enough. Just a little to kind of get the spices mixed and dump all of that in to our um, egg. And I'm just using canned pumpkin. I've made it from scratch from a fresh pumpkin and it's just not worth it. The cans are great. So I'll add one 15 ounce can of pumpkin to our egg and spice mixture and stir it really, really well. Okay. So we'll just get this, like I said, perfectly incorporated. And we're almost done. That is how easy pumpkin pie is. It is just the best pie. And in my opinion, it tastes the best too. It's just one of my Thanksgiving treats. It's something I look forward to once a year at Thanksgiving. Okay, that's all really well stirred in. And the final ingredient is one can, a 12 ounce can of evaporated low fat 2% milk. And again, we're just gonna get that stirred in really, really well. Mmm, the spices smell so good right now. Okay, so there we go. We got that all stirred in. I told you, this is such an easy pie. Don't buy the frozen pies. They're nice, good. And it's so easy to make it from scratch. Now we pour the filling into our pie crust. And I usually don't pour it all the way up to the edge. Now this is a deep dish crust, so I can pour it all the way. But if you're using a regular pie crust, a regular pie plate, I mean, uh, reserve some in the mixing bowl and finish it off in the oven. And then when you move it to the oven, you won't slop it all out onto your beautiful border. I've preheated my oven to 425, and I'm now going to turn it down to 350 and bake the pie for about 45 minutes. Ooh, it looks delicious. It's been about 55 minutes. And the pie is done when the knife comes out almost completely clean. So that one's done. Let's take it out. First, we'll take out our little uh, top piece. And now we'll take out the pie and put it on a cooling rack for two hours and then chill it eh, overnight. This little garnish will cover up that knife mark. So that's one of the reasons I do it. Isn't that cute? There you go. And if the edges of your pie start to get too brown, just cover them with a little foil partway through the cooking process and it'll take the color down a little bit. Here's the finished product. I hope you try a pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. It's my favorite. I hope it's one of yours. Don't forget to subscribe to Ian's channel. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.